Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Schals. Today's story is a North American folktale. Specifically, we're heading to Massachusetts for the Old Mill at Somerville. The Old Powder House, as the round stone tower is called that stands on a gravel ridge in Somerville, Massachusetts, is so named because at the outbreak of the Revolutionary War, it was used temporarily as a magazine. But long before that, it was a windmill. Here, in the old days, two lovers held their tryst, a sturdy and honest young farmer of the neighborhood and the daughter of a man whose wealth puffed him with purse pride. It was the plebeian state of the farmer that made him look at him with an unfavorable countenance, and when it was whispered to him that the young people were meeting each other almost every evening at the mill, he resolved to surprise them there and humiliate if he did not punish them. From the shadow of the door they saw his approach, and, yielding to the girl's imploring, the lover secreted himself while she climbed to the loft. The flutter of her dress caught the old man's eye, and he hastened, panting, into the mill. For some moments he groped about, for his eyes had not grown used to the darkness of the place, and hearing his muttered oaths, the girl crept backward from the stair. She was beginning to hope that she had not been seen, when her foot caught in a loose board and she stumbled. But in her fall she threw out her hand to save herself and found a rope within her grasp. Directly that her weight had been applied to it, there was a whirr and a clank. The cord had set the great fans in motion. At the same moment a fall was heard, then a cry passing from anger into anguish. She rushed down the stair, the lover appeared from his hiding place at the same moment, and together they dragged the old man to his feet. At the moment when the wind had started the sails, he had been standing on one of the millstones, and the sudden jerk had thrown him down. His arm caught between the grinding surfaces and had been crushed to a pulp. He was carried home and tenderly nursed, but he did not live long. Yet before he died, he was made to see the folly of his course, and he consented to the marriage that had cost him so dear to try to prevent. Before she could summon heart to fix the wedding day, the girl passed many months of grief and repentance, and for the rest of her life she avoided the old mill. There was good reason for doing so, people said, for on windy nights the spirit of the old man used to haunt the place, using such profanity that it became visible in the form of blue lights dancing and exploding about the building. And that is the Massachusetts folktale of the old mill at Somerville. And I just like the, the picture that is painted at the end of the tale that such profanity could become visible in the form of light is just a beautiful way to exclaim or a beautiful way to think about how one would exclaim their disappointment at having their arm crushed. This is Dan Schultz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can also follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio and TuneIn Radio and iHeart Radio. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every weekday morning. Thanks for listening. <laughs>